टेबल टेनिस इन इंडिया हैज सीन अ नंबर ऑफ प्लेयर्स डू वेल फॉर द कंट्री एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल प्लेयर्स लाइक शरद कंवल मनिका बत्रा एंड सत्यन हैव ईयर आफ्टर ईयर डन वेल फॉर द नेशन एट द हाईएस्ट स्टेज एंड हैव अर्न इंडिया देयर एक्लेड्स now with the advent of utt the ultimate table tennis championship which is a franchise based tournament similar to the ipl and the isl it has given a number of youngsters the platform to showcase their skills and be recognized for it which means a number of people have started taking to the sport of table tennis now today we are going to talk about one of the earliest pioneers in the sport of table tennis in the country i'm talking about indu puri now she was one of the first stalwarts that india had in the sport of table tennis she was born in the year 1953 in the city of calcutta but she grew up with a number of health issues she suffered from chronic asthma and a failing eyesight keep now uh, her doctors told her to forget about the sport of table tennis and focus on her health but she went against their advice and decided to uh, pursue table tennis as a professional sport now keeping the decision in mind she decided to move from calcutta to delhi for two major reasons one because delhi had a better climate which helped her with her asthma problems and second and most importantly delhi had a more structure in terms of table tennis which gave her more opportunities to develop her skills and learn the game of table tennis now her health issues were not the only barriers that she had to break to make it as a professional table tennis player at that point in time we're talking about the 1960s and 1970s there were a lot of sexism in the field of sport especially towards women and there was also the prevalence of a strong degree of patriarchy in society now she had to break through all of these barriers to make it as a professional athlete and boy did she do that she became india's top table tennis player for more than a decade from 1970s all through 1985 she was ranked the highest women table tennis player in the country she held the record for winning the most number of national championships she won eight national championships which is the highest number in the history of table tennis in india the last of which came in 1985 at the international level she went on to represent india in six commonwealth championships and six world championships her best finish came in 1982 at the commonwealth championships when she finished as the runner up she also holds a very unique record she became the first indian in 1978 to beat the current world reigning champion i mean no indian has done that ever since she did it in 1978 now you guys might think okay so she hasn't won any big tournament so why is she considered a stalwart now keep in mind the situation of the country at that point in time now there is a lot of sexism in sport there is a lot of patriarchy in society and this is a woman who has to break through all of that the the structure of table tennis is not very organized there is no infrastructure there is no facilities for the players to develop their skills and become a proper professional athlete when compared to the other international players in other countries who have that backing in their country to develop themselves so when you think about all these things and you think about the scenario that uh the sport was in the country at that point in time you get to understand the magnitude of the achievements that she had in her glittering career and because of these achievements she went on to be awarded with the arjuna award the rajiv gandhi khel ratna award and the dhyan chand award after her retirement she took up coaching in the sport of table tennis and also served on the anti doping panel now all of this is to show you guys and to tell you guys that a sport like table tennis which is not talked about enough in our country which has been doing well in the country but isn't that popular so even a sport like that has a stalwart in history which started the entire journey of the country in the sport and she is amongst those people who are the forgotten heroes in our sports community